Over the Rhines Main Street is on the move. In the next few months, about a half dozen major new businesses will open in the blocks between Central Parkway and Liberty Street. And there are several others still in the works. Like the coming of spring, there's new life everywhere you look. I'm very excited for Main Street. I can't wait to see what it looks like, like by the fall. It will be so different. Since last summer, 11 businesses have opened. A s'mores joint, retro furniture store, sandwich shop, a couple bars, and an art store. Main Street has taken on just a wonderful character that still pays homage to what it was way back when. And there's more coming soon. By the fall, at least six new places will open. They include Pins Mechanical, a bowling and pinball bar. Luvino Wine and Tapas goes here. A Philly cheesesteak walk-up window on the corner of 13th Street. Platform, a Cleveland brewery, is bringing a coffee and beer spot here. And next door, where the Main Street Brewery once stood, will be Aladdin's Mediterranean, plus tons of office space. A lot of, a lot of the groups that gravitate um, to this neighborhood, obviously, are, as you might imagine, are creative firms. It may seem like so much has changed since the days of the brewery and Caldi's Coffee. <laughs> and the nightlife scene at Jefferson Hall and a Have a Nice Day Cafe, among others. When I was in my 20s running around partying on Main Street and on Vine Street, it was dangerous and we liked it that way. That change is intentional. But it's still kind of a, um, a more interesting mix and a more service-oriented street. Jim Tarbell's face may be associated with a welcome to Vine Street, but he's been dedicated to Main Street for decades. It's wonderful. Uh, I just, you know, I'm just got my fingers crossed, you know, that we don't shuffle too much too quickly. Chris Shadler's owned Motor Pub for 10 years and is still bringing new life to the Woodward Theater. Over here, it's a little gritty and we like it that way. This, it's more rock and roll. It's, it's more of that old uh, over the Rhine. Even the theater will have something noticeably new. Its marquee should return around the end of the year. Really looking forward to that. As Chris Shadler told me this past week, he said it's just going to change how all of Main Street looks as you drive up the street. We are going to get this map up for you on WCPO.com. You'll be able to click around and see uh, what has already opened here pretty much since last summer and what will be open by this coming summer on Main Street. And right now you can read on WCPO.com. We kind of call it the last time OTR was cool. A look back at the uh, nightlife boom of the 90s and early 2000s and what developers have learned since then.